today because we have a, a group of people that have uh, come into this house and are being evicted. Um, this house is is owned by Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae is one of the one of the uh, the mortgage lenders that, that got bailed out, uh, public bailout, and bailed out by by, by folks like us, uh, public taxpayers, and they're not doing anything. To, to help the, the plight of homelessness in, in places like Rochester. We have an enormous uh, and growing homeless, homeless population in Rochester and over 2,000 abandoned, unoccupied houses in Rochester here. And it, does, it doesn't make any sense. These people, uh, my friends, came into this house. They watched over the house so it wouldn't get ransacked and, and pipes stolen and things like that. They actually improved the property and were an asset to the community here, in this neighborhood. Ask the neighbors. Now they're being evicted by, by Fannie Mae. We got sold out. We got sold out. We got sold out. They got bailed out. We got sold out. They got bailed out. We got sold out. So I just moved here five months ago next door here. And ever since I moved here next door, they've been the best neighbors. They're quiet. Any uh, drug activity, they do something about it, get them out of here. They look out for all the neighbors. You know, it's a really nice neighborhood. And for the banks to say that you can't live here no more, I think it's devastating. How do you feel about having an abandoned house next to you? I don't. With all the fires that's going on in the city, I feel kind of threatened myself now. Because um, anybody can come here now that's going to be banning houses, it's torture. And I got an oxygen machine, so, you know, so this is a roomy house. And I have an oxygen machine, and the, there's a bad fire here, and it's my oxygen machine. You know, I'm going at the bank. Uh, we're an organization called Take Back the Land, and that's what we're doing. We're giving uh, homeless people uh, a leg up by providing house, housing, no matter how temporary, so that they can get their lives back together and and move on. And these are these are productive people that are assets to their community. Hey, people, stand and fight. Housing is a human right. Hey, people, stand and fight. Housing is a human right. Uh, it seems that the bank, and I believe it's uh, Fannie Mae in this case, uh -huh. has decided that they'd rather not let the people who've occupied it buy the house and instead think it would be better to kick them out, keep it vacant, and cause all the problems in a neighborhood that a vacant house does. This shouldn't be necessary. Housing should be a right. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of, there, Rochester has plenty of houses that are vacant, owned by the city, and that something could be done. This is ridiculous, okay? Yeah. We have solutions, they're there. We have to get the banks to work with us when we have people that could solve these problems. They want to fix a house up to live in, mm -hmm. okay? We want. We should make it so that they can. The city owns 3,800 houses right now. Mm -hmm. Isn't there one that we could, aren't there some that we can use for this purpose? Yeah. They're not asking us for money. They're asking us to not let the houses that we already have deteriorate, burn down, and become homes of drugs and crime. Um, we're here to pro well, we're in the sociology class for deviants, and we're here to protest against kicking the homeless people out of houses that are abandoned, but Fannie Mae wants to take them over to sell them instead of letting people that are homeless live in them and have shelter instead of living on the street. I am in the class as well. It's just an injustice that they would kick people out in this horrible weather when there's so many empty homes in Rochester. Why can't they put to a better use? Why am I here? Well, um... To harass these kids. <laughs> to harass these kids. Um, and because and I... I oh, yeah? I know some of the some of the folks in Chicago who li who's been living here and just wanted to <laughs> express outrage that that Fannie Mae is gonna throw people out on the streets in the middle of winter once again um, and express my support for the whole idea of squatting. Uh, I think that I think that the right to shelter. Uh, 
is more important than the right to private property. That if, if we had a decent society, it would be a society where private property rights could be compromised in the interests of human rights. Um, and and I, I think we, we really need to, to emphasize to people how much our society's worship of the right to own property um, has hurt human beings. Government should support the homeless people. Okay. What can you do? When you, go around, when you go around the city, if you see an abandoned house, write it down. Send it to us, give it to us, call it into us. We have a research team, and we want more researchers to find out who owns it. And what can we do to put somebody in it? Um, so you, there's always something you can do. Anytime you see, a, anytime you see some, some housing, just write it down. Right, because I, I don't see nothing but brains and geniuses in here. Um, so uh, we, really, we really, we really appreciate, we really appreciate that effort. Um, Ryan, you got something? Yeah, just um, you know, you know, as Huber has been saying, you know, so so we believe housing is a human right, and we want to get community control over housing and land. So not, we don't want the banks to control our community. We don't want homelessness to be at the whim of the banks yeah so, so that's why we're taking we're taking back the land we're taking back the houses and we're also defending people who are being kicked out of their homes who have been living in their homes for long times and being foreclosed upon so if you know anybody who's being foreclosed upon definitely talk to them you know we'll come talk to them and we'll organize community support um, because I think people are really pissed off at the banks. People recognize how unjust this is. So that would be another thing. If you know somebody who's going through foreclosure, let's you know, let's get involved. Let's see if we can support them. Um, and there's people that here that are willing to do civil disobedience, willing to take it to the limit, and um, and defend these people. And I think we can keep some of these houses as we continue to build. Um, other things. If anybody knows people that. Um, um, are good at plumbing, electrician, um, anything like that. We're definitely interested in expanding our network of mutual aid to support the houses because um, we're totally on um, a shoestring budget. But well, once you guys, well, once you. <laughs> I, li I like to add something else. Housing is a human right. I know people, excuse me, Howard, I know people are looking at said, man, it's very cold for people to be out in the street. We're saying, look, year round, year round, it was 80 degrees out. Housing is a human right. So I'm saying sympathy for other people. Got to be here around. Say, well, it's July, 90 degrees. Okay, you can sleep in the subway. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. This, this sounds ludicrous. <clears throat> I'm saying we're saying housing is a human right. We're going to take these bastards on because they're not going to quit. They're yeah. not going to stop. They're trying to increase. The, until property values go out, we're just going to let these houses sit here. You say, okay, thank you. Because <laughs> we're coming at you. If we could be peace, the quality of life could increase. Be the belly of the beast, and his wars might cease. Be peace, like warm grass and bare feet. Be peace, like no iron bars or concrete. Be peace, like a nap beneath the shade tree. Be peace, with me and the beach keep easy. Be peace, and every day could be hugs, kittens, and apple trees. It's real in Palestine, we call it truth. And we could love the Muslims and Jews and report it on the news. You no longer have to choose. One or another of your brothers, not a hater of the haters, I'm a lover of the lovers. Plenty more to life to discover, like every good boy deserves a loving mother. Three, two, three, two.